Can I tell you something that is ridiculous and seriously hilarious? I kept on wanting to make this video today and I felt like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Why do I want to make a bed yoga video? <laughs> That's the best time to make it when you're tired, right? It'll help get the juices flowing. So today we are going to do move that crazy hair. Wow. So today we're going to do a bed yoga flow. So this is a good thing to do right when you wake up in the morning or even right before you go to sleep. It's just going to be a yin type of a stretching um, just to help you feel good. And if it's in the morning, it'll just get your juices flowing and get you ready to jump out of bed and attack the day. So let's get started. So this is going to be our little pajama party. So whether you want to do this in the morning when you wake up or at night, it's going to be refreshing for both situations. So let's actually start in our Shavasana. So your legs can go as wide as you want. Your hands can be by your side, palms up or down. Palms up is receding, palms down is grounding. Or you can place them on top of your hip points. Another thing that you can do is if you want to place one hand on top of your belly area. I hope you didn't just hear my stomach growling. <laughs> so there's one hand on top of the belly and then your other hand on top of your heart. Or you can put one hand on the heart and then one hand on your third eye area. So whatever you're feeling, whatever is comfortable for you, let's just sit here and take a couple of deep breaths inviting oxygen, inviting the prana. Um, I haven't talked about the prana a lot, but the prana, so prana is a life force that flows through your body, okay? And so you can kind of think of it as your blood. Um, if you think of our central nervous system, we have electricity, our nerves and everything, Everything is just flowing, ebbing and flowing throughout our body. And so that is what the prana is. So I want you to take a deep inhale, filling your lungs completely. And exhale, emptying them completely. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Now I want you to try and inhale for four counts, and then we're going to exhale for eight counts, okay? So inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep on doing that. So keep on breathing while I talk. So as you're breathing, I just kind of want you to wiggle around a little bit. Just kind of get your body in motion. I 
One more inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so let's kind of make micro movements with the fingertips. This is kind of our reversal of a of our um, vinyasa flow. This is how we end it, but this is how we're going to start our our morning bedtime flow. Okay, wiggle the toes now. Just welcome this energy, this motion into your body. Now have the wrists going and joining everything. And now the ankles. So you can make like a figure eight with your hands and your feet. You want to just circle them one way and then reverse it. So now take a big inhale as you stretch your feet long and you stretch your arms long. So it's like a big good morning stretch. And just, if you have a headboard or the wall, just push. And just kind of feel the strength of your arms, your biceps, your forearms, and everything. Okay, so I want you to take your right knee into the chest and actually kind of pull it towards your right shoulder so you can feel this stretching and lengthening in your quad and hamstrings. I want you to point those right toes so you're, you, feel, you feel like your toes are kind of reaching towards the foot of the bed as you're pulling your knee upwards towards your shoulder. So now place that right ankle on top of the left knee. So you're bringing your left knee up, supporting it. <clears throat> so I want you to reach behind that left leg Interlace the fingers behind the, the knee area and just gently pull your knee towards your body. So if this is the first thing you're doing in the morning or even if it's the last thing you're doing at night, if you haven't been working out in like the last few minutes, you're probably gonna be super tight. So I don't want you to pull super hard. What you wanna feel is a stretch but you don't want to feel pain. And breathe through this. Try and relax your shoulders back towards your mattress. You can keep your eyes open or closed, whatever is fine. Now I want you to take this and you're gonna just let it all fall over to the left. So now the, the bottom of the right foot is flat on the mattress. Your left leg is just laying flat on the mattress. Push your right knee away with the left hand and just feel a little bit of that stretching. And don't forget to breathe. So now I want you to take your right leg and it's almost like you're sitting on a chair and you're crossing your legs. So bring it this is actually kind of like an eagle pose, but 
for those of you that don't know Eagle, <clears throat> so your right leg is crossed over the left leg, just like you're sitting down crossing your leg. If you want and you have that foot flexibility, you can wrap your right foot around your left calf. And I want you to just let all of this fall over to the left side. And I want you to reach your right arm out to the right and look towards your right hand. So your body is in this completely twisted motion. And again, you can keep your eyes open or closed. Inhale everything back to center. <clears throat> Hug your knees in tight and just kind of rock side to side. So normally your back is flat on a mat when we do this and so it massages the spine. Right now you don't have that, um, that harder surface. If you're on your bed, it's super soft. And so right now you can just feel kind of this um, Twisting, I guess, a little bit. I'm actually feeling this in my quads, the front of my thighs. So maybe it's just that pulling towards the knees, towards the chest, help, help to stretch those muscles out in the morning or at night. Now I want you to let that right leg just fall down and pull that left knee in towards the shoulder. So again, the right toes are reaching towards the foot of the bed, <laughs> and the knee is reaching towards your shoulder or towards the headboard. And we're just gonna breathe. Now bring that right foot up, resting the left ankle on top of the right knee, and then reach behind that right leg, interlace the fingers, and then just gently pull towards you, pull, pull the knee towards you. And again, we're just starting out the day or finishing the day, and so you want this to be gentle. Do not force this. that left leg cross over the right like you're in that seated position cross-legged position and let everything fall over to the right side so you're reaching that left arm to the left and looking towards that left hand or having your head motion towards the left and then closing your eyes so this is a great exercise this stretching is great to do even before you go to bed because if you've done anything that has worked your muscles strained your muscles or whatever you always want to get a really good stretch in before you go to bed or else you are going to be one sore mama or papa in the morning so stretching is always good and it's good to stretch in the morning because it just helps to get everything stretched out and 
moving and working and wake the body up. And now inhale everything back to center. Hug those knees in, rock side to side. So now we're going to come to like, it's almost like a bridge prep right before you go into bridge. But I want you to take that right ankle, put it over the left knee again. And this time I want you to take your right hand and push that knee away. So now, if you are bendy enough, first let's let that left leg go long. So let me give you a couple of options. You can grab the bottom of your foot and your knee and just pull this towards your chest. If you have the mobility, I want you to place your foot in the, um, the bend of the inner, the opposite side of the elbow, is it the crux? I don't remember. <laughs> and then your knee on the other one. So it's like you're holding a baby like that and just pull it towards you or hold it there once you get to a spot where you're feeling a good, a good little stretch. You can just sit here and hold that. She just gently release that. Let that left leg meet up with the right. Well, actually, we're gonna bring it up and go to the other side. So bend that right leg, prop that foot, right foot ankle, left foot ankle on top of the right knee, and then push your knee away. So you should be able to feel this. Um, on the left side, but in the IT band area, you feel that little stretching right there. I don't know what my hair looks like right now, so do not judge me, and I won't judge you for having bed head. <laughs> Sorry, my stomach is going crazy this morning. <clears throat> so now we're going to bring, let that right leg go. Put the foot in the, the corner crux of the elbow and the knee in the opposite one. And then just pull that whole um, shin calf area towards you.
and then slowly release that down. So your legs are straight out in front of you. <clears throat> Bring that right knee in. And if you can grab onto, well, oh, <laughs> getting a little risque here. Just kidding. If you can grab behind your thigh, behind the knee, behind the calf, behind the ankle. And I just want you to gently pull your leg towards your face. So this is really the morning for me. I haven't done a flow yet, and so I am super tight in my hamstrings. Obviously, because you can see how close I'm bringing my foot to my face. slowly release that down and come to the other side grabbing on to whatever you can get a hold of and my left side is always a lot tighter than my right side and if you have a spot like right now I am I've got a little tender area right here in my hamstrings so what you want to do is close your eyes and inhale, focusing your breath going to that spot. So inhale into that spot wherever you're feeling pain. And then as you exhale, you watch that pain break up and just kind of float away. Having that vis visualization, the first time someone talked me through that, it was like, it was life changing for me because I always have, when I get into certain postures, I will have, um, okay, sorry, I'm going to talk a lot and lose track of how many breaths we're doing. Go ahead and release that and just let your legs go long. So when I first, someone introduced me to doing that, it was life changing because you always can have those little spots where you're going to be tender. Like you can stretch it and you're fine but it's just a little spot where you've got a teeny bit of pain, but it's not anything bad, and you feel like you can breathe through it, that's what you're doing is you take that breath and you inhale it right into that area. And then if you can keep your eyes closed and just visualize it like totally disappearing, it literally, like I could visualize it floating away and I could feel that pain lessen. So try it out. I'm not just blowing smoke. <laughs> I'm blowing air and releasing the pain. So inhale, stretch long again. Hug the knees in tight. And if you want, if you can lift up your head and just come up into a really tight, tight ball. Bring your nose as close to your knees as you can. So that was a little bit of warming up the back doing that. So come on, roll over onto your stomach, and we're going to do a couple of warm warm-ups for your back area, okay? So I want you to bring the hands back by your glutes, and what I want you to do this first go around is just lift the head and shoulders up. So with this, I want you to think of lengthening. I want you to lengthen from the head to the toes. We are not super interested in the height, but just the length. 
Hug your thighs together. If you can, engage your core right now. Draw the navel towards the spine and slightly up towards the heart. Engage your glutes. Make, your sh make sure your shoulders are away from the ears and you're not wearing those earrings. And you should feel this in your lower lumbar area, okay? Take a deep inhale. Exhale and place your right cheek on the bed and just wiggle the hips side to side and break up any tension that built up right here in that lower lumbar area. Okay, we're gonna come back to that again. So I want you to try and reach as you inhale we're going to reach up, so reaching the fingers towards the toes, pointing the toes long, hugging thighs together, reaching the crown of the head up, so we're again thinking length and not height. Engage that core, breathe. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, rest the left cheek on the bed and wiggle the hips. I love the wiggling the hips because <laughs> it just feels good to break up all that tension that you build up in the back. Okay. So we are going to do <clears throat> some supermans. So we're gonna come up and down. It's not gonna be a huge movement, but you are working those back muscles, okay? So inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, hold it for a second, exhale down and up down three four five six seven last time eight and try and hold up two three four five six seven eight and release it and we will hips again So reach back with your right hand and grab the top of your foot, top of the right foot. And just pull it down so the heel is coming towards the glute or even touching the glute. And you're gonna feel this in your front quads big time. And just breathe it out. Switch sides. Bring the left heel towards the glute. And if you have that sore spot again, remember to breathe into it. slowly release that if you want to wiggle the legs a little bit help get rid of all any tension that you have there come back onto your back so one thing that I love about being in a bed is that doing sit-ups without having to <laughs> really rock my body is 
a lot easier because it's softer. I think it's my butt gets lower. And so it's easier just to roll up. So let's try this. And if you have issues with that, then put a pillow behind you and then you can use the pillow to help you. But we're just going to roll up, engage that core and then reach as far past your toes as you can. And then we're going to slowly come back down, reaching over the head, inhaling and exhale. So we're waking up our abs. And when you move slowly, that really works them. I've lost count. I don't know if I was really counting, but let's do two more. And then this last time we're going to stay up in this forward fold. If you can grab the bottom of your feet, if not, just get to wherever you are. These forward folds are really good because if you think about it, you are stretching your entire, the entire back side of your body. Your back is rounded right now, so you're stretching there, you're stretching the neck because the head is tucked down. If you want, you can flex your toes back towards your face, and that helps to even stretch out like the full length of it because you're getting the toes, the bottom of the feet, your Achilles tendon. You're getting everything stretched. Inhale, sit up. And if you want, like I can feel that in my lower back. If you need to massage that out whatever you need to do. <clears throat> so we're going to come into, get to a spot where I'm, <laughs> this is super, my bed is super soft. So we're going to tuck that left foot underneath. We're going to bring that right leg over top using the right hand as a kickstand. Inhale, that left arm up, and then exhale, wrap it around the front of the knee, and then pull it towards your left armpit, and you're looking over the right shoulder. So this is a half Matsi Andrasana, half Lord of the Fishes here. And release that, sit back or lay back. If you're on your bed, you can lay back. Lift the legs. So now that right leg is flat on the ground, left leg is propped up over. Your left hand is the kickstand this time. Inhale that right arm up, right arm up. And exhale, wrap around the knee and pull it towards 
that right armpit and look over the left shoulder. Release that. Come into a butterfly position. So you can bring your back up against your headboard, against the pillow. Bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees lay wide and out. So with the first one, I want you to keep your back straight for the first few breaths. So inhale, and then exhale, keeping the back flat. I want you to fold forward, keeping the back flat to whatever your depth is. So the back is flat, so your spine and neck are one long line. So you feel this long lengthening up and out through the crown of the head. You'll feel this a lot on the inner thighs. Take a deep inhale. And then as you exhale, you can round your back and come down. Shake the legs if you want. So there you have it. That was our little pajama party. You can either do this in the morning or at night. Either way, it's gonna feel good. It's gonna get your muscles warmed up. It'll get them stretched if it's the end of the day. Well, morning and night will get them stretched, but you really need to get a good stretch before you go to bed. Um, yeah, so that's our pajama party. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.